do you think space is silent? Well, it's not. In this video, I'll take you on a journey through the 20 scariest sounds ever recorded in the universe. They are real sounds captured by NASA and other space agencies, and trust me, they only get more terrifying as we go on. Let's start with a classic. PSR, B0329 plus 54, is one of the strongest radio pulsars we've ever found. It spins around once every 0.714 seconds, and every time it does, it sends out a radio signal that we can turn into sound. When you hear it, it sounds like a distant train. No, really, people actually call it the locomotive pulse. It has that chug, chug, chug rhythm, like an old engine rolling slowly through the night. But there's something off about it. It's not smooth. It's not steady. It's just cold, mechanical, like a ghost train that's been running forever with no destination. And remember, this sound is real. It came from a star that exploded a long time ago, collapsed into a tiny, dense core, and kept spinning like a machine. Except it's not a machine. It's a dead star. This pulsar was discovered back in 1968, and scientists still use it today to study how pulsars work. It's kind of like the go-to example. But hearing it for the first time is always a weird experience. You expect space to be silent, but then you hear this steady beat coming from thousands of light years away, and it just keeps going, like it's alive. What you're about to hear next will change the way you think about space forever. Don't skip ahead. Next up is a pulsar that feels way too alive. PSR B1933 plus 16 spins faster than the last one, about once every 0.358 seconds. When the signal is turned into sound, it doesn't just beep or tick. It thumps like a heartbeat. At first, it's kind of calm. But the more you listen, the more it feels like it's getting closer, louder, stronger, like something's coming toward you. People who've heard it say it gives them the chills, like standing next to something giant that you can't see but can feel. That's why this one's been nicknamed the heartbeat of the universe. It's steady, but not comforting. It's got this deep, echo-like quality, almost like it's alive. But remember, this heartbeat is coming from a star that's been dead for millions of years. What makes it creepier is that PSR B1933 plus 16 changes a bit depending on how you aim the telescope. Sometimes it sounds faint, other times it's sharp and pounding. Scientists say that's because of how the beam of energy is tilted, like a lighthouse spinning in the dark. And sometimes the signal just drops, like it blinked out for a second. That silence? That's the worst part. If you thought this was creepy, wait until you hear what's coming next. It only gets more weird from here. Now things start to get weird. PSR B1133 plus 16 doesn't just pulse like the others, it changes. Scientists call it a mode-changing pulsar. That means its signal suddenly shifts between different patterns. One second it's steady, the next it sounds totally different, like it's switching channels or whispering something new. When we turn this into sound, it's like listening to a voice that keeps changing its tone. It's quiet, uneven, and honestly, a little creepy. It's like someone, or something, trying to talk, but only in fragments. This kind of behavior isn't common in pulsars. Most are very stable, ticking at the same pace forever. But not this one. It seems... unpredictable. That unpredictability is what makes it scary. You can't get comfortable with it because you don't know what's coming next. Sometimes the pulses even fade out, like it's drifting off or losing interest. And then suddenly, boom, it snaps back into a new mode with a whole different sound. It's like the star is thinking or changing its mind. Scientists aren't totally sure why this happens. Some think it's because of shifts in the pulsar's magnetic field. Others think it might be from leftover material around the star. But no one knows for sure. All we know is that it sounds like a whisper from something far away. And that whisper keeps changing. This next sound will send chills down your spine. 
Listen closely and try not to get too scared. Now we're stepping things up. The Vela Pulsar, also known as PSRB 0833-45, spins incredibly fast, about 11 times every second. That might not sound like a lot, but in the world of space objects, that's insane. And when we convert its signal into sound, it turns into a rapid pounding rhythm, like a drum beat echoing through space. This isn't a gentle beat either. It's intense. It almost sounds like it's racing toward you. There's a pressure to it. A tension. As if something is getting closer with every hit. It's not just the sound that makes the Vela Pulsar scary. It's how loud and clear it is compared to others. This one is pretty close by, just over 1,000 light years from Earth. That makes it one of the strongest and most studied pulsars we know of. And it doesn't hold back. Some people describe the sound as a space engine. Others say it reminds them of a war drum, fast, sharp, and relentless. When you close your eyes and really listen, it's easy to imagine something powerful and ancient pounding its way across the galaxy. And it's not just imagination. Vela is known for glitches, where its spin rate suddenly jumps. That's right. This star spins faster all of a sudden for reasons we're still trying to understand. It's like it hiccups, only violently. And when that happens, the beat changes. The whole rhythm shifts. It's like the universe itself skipped a beat. What you're about to hear is one of the most mysterious sounds ever recorded in space. Are you ready? This one is different. The Crab Pulsar, also known as PSRB0531-21, is famous for one thing, giant pulses. Most pulsars give off steady, predictable signals. But the Crab, it throws in sudden, huge spikes. Imagine listening to a slow, steady beat, and then out of nowhere, a loud, distorted burst blasts through your headphones. That's what it's like. Calm, 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 then bam. It's not just loud, it's jarring. The first time scientists heard it, they thought their equipment was glitching. But no, that's just what the crab does. These giant pulses are real, and they come without warning. Some of them are hundreds of times stronger than its regular signal. The crab pulsar was born from a massive supernova explosion seen on Earth in the year 1054. So it's a relatively young pulsar, only about a thousand years old but it's already doing some of the weirdest stuff we've ever seen and heard. When converted into sound, you'll hear a steady clicking or ticking, but then suddenly, crack. A sound like a whip or a static burst or a broken speaker. It doesn't just surprise you, it interrupts you. It's as if the star is trying to break through the silence to shout something. No one fully understands how or why the crab pulsar does this, but we know this. When you hear that first giant pulse, you'll feel it in your ears, in your chest. It's not just a sound, it's a shock. Think this is weird? Just wait. The most unsettling sound is coming up soon, and it will shock you. Now this one doesn't just spin fast, it spins ridiculously fast. PSRJ0437-4715 is what's called a millisecond pulsar. That means it completes one full rotation in less than one thousandth of a second. To be exact, it spins about 174 times per second. Think about that. Imagine a dead star, about the size of a city, spinning like a blender on overdrive. When we turn its signal into audio, it creates this wild, high-pitched buzzing sound. It's like a mosquito trapped in a speaker or an electric razor from another planet. It's fast, sharp, and super intense. But the creepiest part? It never stops. It just keeps going. This never-ending rapid buzz, like something is desperately trying to drill its way through the silence of space. It doesn't sound alive, but it also doesn't sound right. A lot of people say this one is hard to listen to for long. Not because it's loud, 
but because it gets into your head. It messes with your sense of calm. It makes space feel way less empty and way more restless. Scientists love this pulsar because it's incredibly stable. It's used as a kind of space clock to study things like gravitational waves. But if you're just listening to it for the first time, you're not thinking about science. You're thinking, what the heck is that noise? By the time we reach number one, you might never want to listen to space sounds again. This is where it all began. PSRB1919 plus 21 is the very first pulsar ever discovered. Back in 1967, scientists picked up a repeating radio signal, so regular, so precise, they actually thought it might be a message from aliens. They even labeled it LGM1, which stood for Little Green Men. That's how strange and perfect the signal was. When you hear it turned into audio, it's a slow, steady tick, like a metronome. Click, click, click. It doesn't rush, it doesn't change. It just ticks over and over with the kind of consistency that makes your skin crawl. Not because it's loud, but because it sounds too perfect. And here's the thing. This sound traveled across space for hundreds of light years before it reached us. It came from the corpse of a massive star, collapsed into something the size of a city. And yet it's sending out this heartbeat-like pulse that hasn't stopped for over 50 years since we found it. That steady rhythm? It's creepy because it feels like a signal, like it means something. Even though we now know it's a natural phenomenon, that original mystery still lingers. It's the sound that opened the door to the weird world of pulsars. And it still gives people chills to this day. It was the first. And after hearing it, you'll understand why it's still the scariest. Let me know what you think in the comments below.